Yeah, there's your driver's license, please. Well, you scared the hell out of me. I was looking at this guy in the back. <laughs> well, I was looking in my rearview mirror, and you were so close to me, I couldn't see your headlights. So well, since you were close. since you were tailgating me and trying to push me through this construction zone, I figured that we should then have a chat about that. You also have a giant crack across your windshield. Yeah, it doesn't. And you're not supposed to drive with your mind. handicap placard on, and you should be wearing a seatbelt. So okay, the seatbelt. I have a theory on that. If motorcyclists don't have to wear helmets, why do I got to wear a seatbelt? Fair enough. Take that up with the judge. So I'm pretty sure that somewhere on your handicap placard it says that you're not supposed to drive with that thing up. Remove from oh, mirror before, before operating. operating vehicle. <laughs> Says it right on there. I didn't even see it. Uh, Which is weird because it was hanging right yeah, in front of you. <coughs> Sorry, gotta, gotta wait for that smoke there, gag me. Out of all of the violations, the crack windshield, the following too close, the speed, the thing I'm going to cite you only with is the seatbelt. Posted speed limit within this construction zone is 25 miles an hour. And reasonable and prudent is zero because you got to drive. Although you disagree with it, you have to drive wearing your seatbelt. That is required. Um, and I'm going to give you warnings on everything else. Okay. How you doing? See your driver's license, please. All right. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the sheriff's office. Uh -huh. Whole bunch of reasons I stopped you. You're in a lifted truck and no mud flaps. You've never used your turn signal once since I saw you. You're not wearing your seatbelt. You got a big crack in your windshield. Um, that's what we have so far. So, see your registration paperwork, current proof. In. I got the same headlamp. I like that thing. Is that the one where you go like this and it turns off? I like that one. Just a ticket for no, not wearing your seatbelt. Okay. But you have to have mud flaps, your windshield, and you pulled out in front of me, and yeah. no turn signals. These things work. Does that work? That works, eh? That was probably a really bad idea. Yes, ma'am, it was. That is absolutely <laughs> correct. And I also feel like wearing seatbelts is a very I, important thing. I just took it off. I didn't. I didn't see it. There's never ever a reason to take it off because now I have to take your word for it, and I've never met you before. Oh man, I always say I want you to pull me over. No, not probably not a good idea. See your driver's license. So the reason I stopped you is you're more than 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. You were 68 and a 45 when we passed each I other. I wasn't even paying attention. Yep. So may I also see your registration, current proof insurance, and you got to wear your seatbelt. Seatbelts are super important. Uh, and your plates are suspended. Her plate returns us suspended for lack of financial responsibility. Um, what that means is, in all probability, she changed her insurance company. MVD then sent her a letter. And that letter says, hey, we need you to verify your insurance. And it's during normal business hours. So I called the insurance company, verified that her pro policy is current. Um, I'm still going to issue her a citation for displaying a financially suspended plate, but I'm not going to take her plate. Um, if it was during the night and I couldn't get in touch with the insurance company, I would take that plate as required by law, um, which forces her to go into MVD and provide them current proof insurance. So if MVD sends you a letter, do not rely on your insurance company. Take that letter, go to MVD show them that you have current insurance and keep your place from being suspended like hers. You are 68 and a 45, so like mm -hmm. I said, you're 23 over. Um, RMP stands for reasonable and prudent, which for you is zero because you're not wearing your seatbelt and your plates are suspended. What does that mean? So uh, it means that MBD probably sent you something and said, hey, you need to verify your current proof of insurance or you received a ticket before for no current proof insurance. And what happened is they suspended your plates, which okay. means that technically you can't drive because you don't have any registration on your vehicle. Um, and then you have to wear your, your seatbelt because it's click it or ticket time. That's kind of the way and it's, I it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. So I don't believe in seatbelts. I, that, and you know what? That I is, ab that is absolutely fine. That's Cause, cause you tell me, I've argued with cops over this before. Why do I have to wear a seatbelt when my kids on a school bus do not? Um, tell me how that makes sense. I don't know. So that's why I'm saying so. I mean, school bus is incredibly larger and travels okay, at an incredibly slower amount of speed than this. That's so. a better explanation than I got. It's politics. That's not politics. It's physics. That was a lot when I'm like, well, tell me how that makes sense. You said you're in your neighborhood? Oh, yeah. All right. So get home and then take care of this, okay? Do I not need a copy of it? No, ma'am. You have it right there. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you. you got everything. Well, it was nice to meet you finally. Thank you so much, ma'am. You drive safely. Thanks. <laughs>